Hey guys! So I'm just gonna quick show you um, something that I did, but first I wanted to say happy Imolk. I am not doing a whole lot today, but I did hang out with um, Trish Beanbag Hagwig and Raquel the Barefoot Taurus for a while, so that was really fun and I had a great time. They came to my house and hung out with me with my kiddos and all that stuff, so that was awesome. And then last night I grabbed dinner with them as well, which was amazing Thai food. So just wanted to share a couple quick things really quick. Sorry if you hear my kiddo playing. So these are the decks that I'm working with this month for my tarot tracker, Crystal Visions Tarot and Earth Magic. And then um, Raquel the Barefoot Taurus made me these really pretty oversized tea lights. I can't wait to use those. Right now I am working with a intention candle that is from Drew. Whoops, she walks between the world, worlds. Bleh. Her can, um, her intention candle pack that you can find on her, um, bleh, her shop, which I will link for you guys. This one's for intuition and dreams. I've been kind of working on that kind of stuff a lot lately. And then um, I have. Brittany from Palm Tree Bewitchery, her storm candle here for kind of emotional balance, dealing with that internal storm. I was dealing with some depression at the beginning of January, so but I'm doing better, as I mentioned. And then um, I have a candle here from Trish, Beanbag Hagwig, and it's so beautiful. Um, so... That's what I've kind of the quick like abridged version that I have on my altar, but I'm going to show you guys something else today. Yesterday, I did a spell for my house, so you guys get to see my house a little bit. I grabbed, well this is a spell bottle that I've had in my window, but I grabbed quartz crystals. As you can see, this is my window outside of my bedroom that is pointing south, the sun's setting. It's pretty cold today, but it's not as cold as it was here in Minnesota. We are up from the negatives into, I think it's about 12 or 13 degrees outside right now, so heat wave. But this quartz crystal is pointing south, and I'm creating a grid. So I'll show you guys. You get to see some of my house. Here is my west-facing grid for my that's in my bathroom you can see the window over there I don't really have a ledge to set it on so I've got it here on this shelf there we go and you can see the quartz crystal pointing to the west and then then I have some um, some rose quartz for self-love and then I have a citrine which I kind of wanted some fire energy in my bathroom just to kind of like invoke passion I'm not sure why I just was one of those intuitive like I need this so, okay, now we're gonna go this way to my living room. Excuse my children's messes. I have a quartz crystal in my north facing window here, pointing out to the north. And then up here, I put the other crystals inside, hanging from my, um, uh, my curtain rod here. I have some sage, white sage, and this has been hanging here for months. I just added the crystals yesterday. I have some amethyst for just that calming energy to bring about in my living room, and some um, fluorite for that mental clarity to just kind of keep the energies calm and equalized in my living room since I have children and it gets chaotic. And then in my horribly 1950s kitchen, <laughs> We have my plant, and I have another window. This is my, um, my east-facing window. You can see the quartz pointing in the direction of east. And then I have some carnelian for self-courage and creativity to help me kind of be creative as I'm doing cooking and kitchen witch stuff and having that fiery inspiration that I need. And then I have another spell bottle over there. But... So I just wanted to show you guys really quick, see, my kitchen's hideous, <laughs> um, the things that I did yesterday for my, um, my crystal grid for my house. And then the other quick thing I wanted to share is, I'm sure you guys have seen this before, but this is the Wheel of the Year um, 
You can find it on Amazon. It actually just comes in like this wooden finish, but I painted it and I absolutely love it. I think it turned out so amazing. It's one of my favorite things. And then I have Thor's hammer hanging here. And my cute little trees, my little evergreen trees. And then the other witchy things I have really quick that I'll show you in my house are my broom above the door with a mojo bag. And then I have my spring wreath. Um, as you can see from outside, it is definitely not spring here in Minnesota, even though spring's not for another month and a half, another six weeks or so. I just needed some of that spring energy because Minnesota, the winters are long and I just needed something to look at that has that regrowth, that beauty. Oh, I'm so, so ready for it already and it's only February 1st, guys. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you really quick. I hope you enjoyed my little quick, here's my witchy things that I did on a mulk <laughs> randomness. Uh, bless be guys. Happy a mulk.